Oh, all right, Snapdragon. Uh, this is another 1v1 tactical. Uh, tactical, my fucking God. Um, this is ranked, I believe this is Firestarter. Lol. And Duro. You let the Brits something, maybe exit Europe or something. But we've got fire down here, looks like. Maybe that's Scandi, I'm not too sure. Oh, no, this will be coming off. Let's just fast forward. Fuck me, CVs galore. And this is the map Tropic Thunder for those wondering. Let's pause it there for a second. I'll just quickly run through what's going on. Oh, this is Euro, cool. CV. Uh, there'll be Commandos Para. Uh, is that right? I think so. Mistrals. Maybe Jaegers in the VAB. Or. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe Falsham Jaegers. I don't know if they have the VAB actually. Anyway, VAB in the back, another CV, double Crotars, double Lukes, uh, which Lukes 25 pointer, probably some Jaegers, lots of Jaegers, and another Lukes. And for Duro, we've got a CV in the back with a Shulka. Interesting that he's gone with the radar Shulka. <coughs> um, five extra points. It's got the radar tag, and I'm not sure if the range is all that much increased. Um, it's a bit of a strange choice, in my opinion. Uh, got the Osa, BDR Zalo. Really, this might be a motorized deck. Yeah, this looks like a motorized deck. Heaps of BTRs, there'll be um, motos. Uh, Spetsnaz Grew, maybe. Mm. There's a few different options that they can be, that's why I'm not too sure. Uh, bit of tactical outplay right at the start. Getting some pretty decent ground, MLD. Um, let's just slow it up just a little bit. Crotal's going off, getting one of the MTVs, which is a good start. Um, looks like fire's gone pretty heavy into the middle with all these M1 M113s. But we've also got uh, Duro here getting right in. <clears throat> but, I mean, fire's gone really heavy on the uh, CVs at the start, and he's capped all his zones, which is getting into a, quite a big lead to start with, to be honest. Whereas Duro doesn't have any thing. Um, it's, it's war game 1v1 ranked is can be sometimes be a really fine line between saving up like Firestart has done or uh, investing more in, point, in in units like Duro has um, right now Duro is obviously at a really bad loss at the tick but as you can see with his units he's actually got quite a lot more firepower on the field uh, as opposed to uh, what Firestarter does um, and you can see these BTRs and these uh, the Zalos coming across. Um, it's going to really wreck Firestarter's um, force here, which which gives Duro the, the lead here in this zone. The Maskyas and their legions. I was actually wrong. <clears throat> Cassiope coming out. And then Mig's actually going to run out of fuel. Interesting that uh, Charlie's been left completely open. And... Oh, the Jaegers. Oh, the Jaegers. I'm sorry if that's loud on the, your end, but it's really loud on my end. I've had to, had to turn music, the music down or off completely just because I'm getting fucking copyright strikes of, of, of the in-game music, which is a bit retarded. But Fab getting caught out there from the BTRs and the MTVs. And to be honest, I don't... S see a whole lot of strength in Fire's forces here. I feel like the Fire support with the BTRs, especially this whole horde here, really has a lead. I mean, there's not much AA. Actually, sorry, kept me wrong there. The Vs plus the Oses, that's quite a bit of AA. Um, and he's gone for a PD as well as the ML. I'm not sure the, why the backup. Maybe it's just to to cut him off <clears throat> um, might be a good move there's not a whole lot of recon here it was the Spetsnaz but they've actually moved across 
Um, so at this point, there's not much recon on this side. And there's not a whole lot. I mean, you've got the MTV with, but they've got poor optics and medium optics at the BTR. You're going to see most stuff across that field anyway. Um, so, so not a bad move here by Duro just to cut off this this line and, and I mean he doesn't have to worry about Charlie anymore and he can almost push further into hotel at this point uh, no tanks either from fire I'm not sure if this is a general deck or if it's I didn't look at the um, decks pre game here so it could be I was going to say mechanised, but the Crotal you can't get mechanised. So this might be just a general Euro call. Okay, he's, he, that's the push. He's um, split up his BTRs, sent some over here, and he's sending some over into Hotel here. There's a Leo 2 coming out. Uh, I doubt these Cassiopeias will really be able to do much against these BTRs. Uh, actually, I could be wrong there. Could be wrong, but this is a bit of tactical outplay, and now the CV is starting to come in from Duro. Uh, that's going to put him at an even tick. The the two there and the two there, plus these two zones, will keep him at a plus two. But although in saying that, uh, Fire is still at a plus four, and he's almost at three hundred points. Um, but he's probably going to lose this zone here as well in a second. Um, oh, the Jaegers might be able to do something. But yeah, the sooner Duro starts to CV up, which he has, the more he's going to increase the... Uh, sorry, even up the tick. Spotted a CV, but Fire's moved it, <clears throat> which is a good move. BTR90 coming into contact and Legion actually wiping yep, wiping it and the infantry inside it out because of the high AP compared to the armor on the BTR. Plenty of Shilkers coming out just to, as a defense sort of thing, especially up in Charlie. MLD coming out. But this is where most of the action is going to be happening, I believe. <clears throat> I think one of the Jaeger squads got picked off there, unless you split it. No. Where'd that MLD go? Okay. Probably some Conkers coming in. Probably going to place them in this uh, end of the town block with the Spetsnaz Gru. Good vision, and he's going to get stuff coming into this forest, or even into here, maybe, just in range. Yeah, they're about the same. So yeah, even though Duro has got complete map control, Fire's ticking at a plus two still. Um, and he's way past halfway. So it wouldn't be stressing too much. So there's some more Conkers coming in. He wouldn't be stressing too much yet. <clears throat> Plenty of infantry. If those are. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure you'll get line of sight if you put conkers in there, and it's probably pretty close to the forest. Um, once they fire, they're going to reveal themselves. BTR is actually backed up um, from that forest. He would rather save it than uh, be too aggressive with it. CV coming in again. There's not much here. He knows that legions are in there, but I would I would still uh, put another um, recon in there somewhere. I wouldn't put it here. I'd put it over this side, or it maybe maybe there. Because um, obviously these units are going to see this stuff. Uh, but if you put a recon there, you can see anything coming around this way, the longer way.
steady flow of Jaegers coming in. He's got a Cassiopeia's on the on the flanks, um, and we actually see it uh, even up of the tick. This could be an interesting game because it still goes for a fair while. Um, and I haven't watched this one through uh, yet. This is my first watching of it. So he's going to get some uh, defences here with these conquers. He's split him up, so he's probably going to put one at this edge of the town. One on this side. Here comes a bit of a push. Split him up. And send them in. He's got to bring that layer. That layer 2 was a bit too far back. There goes one squad of Jaegers. I'm going to lose. It's the Zala. Yeah, he can. It's got a really good rate of fire, although it doesn't have much front armor. Here's the push, plenty of fire support. Zalo has taken almost down two of the leopards, but here come the conkers just in time. And the fire support vehicles are really just gonna go to waste. But we've got the Jaegers and the Martyrs and stuff coming in now, so Panzergrenz should be able to wipe at least this stuff out. As you can see, the fire support moving into cover. Vab's going to go down, maybe a second Vab. No. Uh, that could just be to throw away some of the missiles. Or it could just be some pro res man. Uh, <laughs> pro res man. <laughs> pro fire starter micro. And more skies, I'm um, up those transports there. I mean, as we've got some more Jaegers coming in. There's not much AA cover here. Or oh, actually, where's that um, Osa gone? That's still there. Okay. Um, I was thinking that this is a pretty prime target for a bomb. Let's conquer this take it down. Another target. Here come the Jaegers. Yeah, they're outranged by the VDV with the RPK. The MG3 is pretty good, but it's a static weapon, so it's not going to be shooting anything while they're on the move, and you don't want them stopping out in the open, obviously. Nice fire support. Uh, as you can see, the MG3 here is firing because it's static and well within range. Right, just the sheer number of troops that Duro's got. Um, as the PTR has actually come in, Grabbed a CV in India. IL-2 coming in. He's probably going to go for this forest as he saw these martyrs come in. And he's got some good backup with the PD and the MLD. Here come the bombs. Where's it dropped? Yep. Okay, he's just gone for the Jaegers. Uh, with his sheer number of troops. Uh, fire should be able to get back in this town. But he's actually losing a fair bit of stuff to the PTR-80 here. Now, I'm not sure if he's no he must have noticed it now because he's moved the mortar back, but he hasn't moved this recon. 19, 20. That range is it. Just need to attack move it and then push it back. Here come the Panzergrounds. Backed up by the Marta 1s, Amex. I still got some fire support circling above, and he's now ticking at plus three. So yeah, that's that's the gamble that some people or well, you're going to take is whether you go heavy CV or heavy uh, ground units or field troops, I suppose. Uh, this so far, it's it worked has worked for Duro um, in the sense that. Um, the, the map control that he gained from his fielded units um, and in the time that he did it has enabled him to safely CV a lot more zones if that makes sense um, whereas uh, Fire hasn't been able to take much ground and now he's, he's locked into defending a pretty secure home sector um, 
and I mean to win, he's got to take, he's got to CB up one of these zones, and obviously India as well. Uh, he's got to CB out one of these two zones to zero the tick, um, to to make make sure he maintains his lead. Fuck me, that was long winded, and I hope you got the point. Um, but basically, fuck me, fucking basically, either you go heavy on the CVs and you lose ground, or you go heavy on the ground units, lose a tick. But in the later game, you you fucking pick up the tick again, like Juro's doing. Holy fuck. Are you fuck? I am fucking retarded. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. But anyway, Duro's rallied out another CV. He's going to CV Foxshot and go to a plus four tick, which is going to give him... What's, what's that? Fucking four points every few seconds. I think it's two or three seconds. So let's count it at two. So that's 80 points a minute. Have I just fucking been retarded again? Four. Four, point, four points every two seconds, which means there's fucking 30 times of these fucking points. Oh, my God. And I said 80. It's supposed to be 120. Anyway, let's leave the maths out of it because clearly I'm not in a very good headspace right now. <clears throat> Please don't hate me because I know maths. But anyway, CV's come in and the game sort of died out because Fire's got a really big task of getting back into here. He's smoking. I think he's probably going to smoke the uh, Conkers. No, he's just going to mortar the BTRs and stuff. It's interesting. If he hadn't lost his second mortar, he might have been able to make this an effective push. Um, and obviously, I reckon Firestarter is obviously a better player than I am. Um, but the way I would have pushed these guys into here is... Smoke your own stuff. Interesting. What I would have done is smoked here, smoked the Conkers, and then pushed in. Why is he smoking this area? Maybe he thinks there's conkers in there. I'm interested to know because if he smokes that and then he just sends these inf this infantry across the bridge, one, as soon as it's through the smoke, these BTRs are going to light up, and two, his fire support behind is not going to fire at it. Fire starter, please tell me, please, why you smoke this? Oh, I guess it's doing exact, the, effectively the same thing that I, was, I said it was going to do. Smoke off this fire support. He's just going to run the infantry this way. Although there's a bit of a gap. No, they're not going to see. <clears throat> Conkers get one M113. Luckily unloads beforehand. Opening up. And here comes the push. Another Conquer squad. Luckily unloads. Spits and Screw's got that superior range with the Dragon off, but the motor one's gonna light it up. Here comes the push. Now oh, there he goes, going straight through the smoke. BTR's effectively negated. Here comes more Jaegers. I'm sort of waiting for the IL-2 to pop out. Plenty of fire support. Marta 1's, M113's, Leopard 2, Kratal. I want to pop that a little, a little bit close. Or maybe just line of sight. There, there you go. IL-102. That's why you support out the Kratals. He knows that that's going to come in, be coming. I'm surprised he hasn't bought and or rallied out a typhoon or something. Yeah, he gets coming in. Doing pretty well. Panzergrens doing work on my skies. 
And he's actually smoked off the Conkers again, which is a really good move. Here comes the IL 102. What's it going for? CV, I believe. KA 29 doing work. I think that's going to miss. Thinking. Razma, uh, sorry, Fires just put the CV in the same spot. Um, and there's Crotel. This Crotel actually killing that 29. MLD. He's actually brought a th second MLD. One goes. No, it escaped. But this one won't. That one goes down. Plenty of uh, supplies here as well. <clears throat> Good job smoking off for the Conkers. And the ticks actually got back to relatively even. I wouldn't be surprised to see a CV in one of these units being called out soon. Any Jaeger. Panzergrens are really good in town. It's that G3A2. That's the uh, MG3. But I don't know if that's just the path one right there. Eugen, please fix. He's, he's obviously ordered into this building, but for some reason it's just not done. Still not inside a building. There you go. More smoke. Here comes the Jaegers. There's your second mortar. PD come out as a defensive thing. Again, watch these uh, Panzer guns go straight in. What's the PD going for? A Mirage. Mirage goes down. Didn't get its bombs off. It's unlucky. <clears throat> Support. Again, Conker's gone so they can remain out of range here. And here come the Jaegers. Um, this is, you probably want to smoke one at least just there so you can pop them over the bridge, unload them and they're straight into a building. Or, the, or you can just unload them here and then run them in. 50 point difference, that's going to be a win at the moment for Duro. Yeah, go straight in. Uh, we got a CV coming in. Not yet. Um, this will only slow the ticket, won't even it up. This is a plus one se sector. Uh, yes. I mean, there's still 18 minutes to go, technically, in the game. So there's no re real rush. <coughs> To get to plus two, I mean, maybe there is actually, sorry, there's 80 points to go. What's coming in? Was that heavy artillery? Oh, yeah, no, no, sorry. I really, I really hate attacking this sector. I, I dislike losing this sector, like re attacking it, if that makes sense. I feel like it's a lot easier to defend than it is to attack. There's the CV coming in here. <laughs> and the mortar's just getting real aggressive. But Fire's done a really good job of retaking from uh, Echo here. Nice work with the Leopard. Almost at the Marder. There are better tunnels for sure. Pathfinding, 450, 100 points ahead. Now he gets a train to get that CV. They're firing on the conkers at the minute. Mix out. And the way the game's going, and the time left, looks like it's going to be a duo win. I hope that's fire and that's Duro, not the other way around. I've seen fire use that, that nickname a few times in some of his videos, so I'm hoping it's safe to assume that's, that it's him. Why don't I look 
like a fucking dickhead if it's not. <clears throat> I mean, I've already fucking made myself look like a dumb cunt already this fucking match. So that will just make it even better. Yep, uh, so it looks like Duro saved the CV with the VDV spam. Yep, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. He's running the CV out because some more skies have come back in. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, oh, double ILs, fuck. We're going down to all those VDVs and the vampires, and that's game. Oh, welcome to, welcome to the fucking chat. Anyway, looks like Duro got the win. I was expecting a pretty interesting game once I saw those two on the um, on the replay site, but it uh, went slightly differently. Anyway, if you like my math lesson, I mean, sorry, if you like my cast, then uh, let me know, and uh, otherwise I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.